Hey everybody, once more into the breach. Y'all have you know, I did pretty well in Super Auto Pets today on stream. I will also have you know that probably um, we weren't playing the normal expansion. We were playing the weekly pack, which I feel a little bit more confident in. But so will you bring me, we can learn something. You know how it goes at the start. We love an iguana. We know we're going to add a strawberry at some point. So why don't we add a kiwi? Why don't we add, consider adding a bird? Roll to get a strawberry. That's beautiful. And then you might as well purchase a bird. If you purchase a bird, then I purchase a bird. We will then add a strawberry to our iguana. Let's be a lazy fireman. I don't think it's a great career choice for you. Or maybe it is because... Now, I, this um, people will probably try to cancel me for this take, but I'm sorry, okay? I just, I'm asking questions. I didn't know when that became illegal. But isn't most of being a fireman actually pretty amenable to laziness? Because you're just kind of sitting around? It's probably like 95% safety checks and sitting around, and then 5% pure heroism, which is... A little bit more than I get in my line of work, I'll admit. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. Oh, man, we have fun here. Anyway, um, I'm not trying to say you don't have to be a hero to be a firefighter, okay? I'm just saying that you probably also spend a lot of time, like, you know, sitting around in the clubhouse, taking photos for sexy calendars, and then, like, 5% saving lives and, obviously, property and, you know, all that hero stuff. That's probably any firefighters watching this. If so, you're going to have to admit that I'm at least a little bit, right? Because you got time to watch me uh, mess around in the game. If not, thank you for your service. I love this squad that we got here. Very early cassowary. That can be a unit we can hang our hat on semi-long term. It's getting some beautiful scaling early. I think this is a wonderful situation. Oh, 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 you shot me? Okay, congrats. Oh no, my two birds are dead. Sorry, that was too much. That was too aggressive. I apologize. What a win, though. I'm feeling great about this. I don't know if we necessarily need another seahorse. I think you're doing great. We'll probably have you um, get sold at some point. Let's not invest too much. Anybody need more health, less attack? Honestly, I think that could work well in our iguana, but I think I would rather roll to look for like a level, for example, which we're lucky enough to get here. Now remember, cassowary only, sure, sure. The cassowary only scales up to a maximum of one strawberry friend at level one, which is why I'm not buying any extra strawberries. I like how we got this outfitted right now. It's a very interesting squad. I've never, I've never seen a squad roll like this before. And yet, I was going to say we win, but that seahorse actually did some incredible work. Congratulations, you have bested me. But I still like where we stand. I love this. Anteater is kind of insane. I think at present... I don't think you need to combine your birds. I think, I, I, believe it or not, I didn't feel like I would rather get the gold for selling them. And then we, I don't think we need to take our iguana up another level. I think we would rather roll. This thing's going to do work, by the way. We're looking for cassowaries now that they can actually show up in our shop. And would you look at that? There's one. But I think I would rather probably give a cassowary a cucumber first. Because there's no pressing need for it to get to level two. I think we got something here. Now, why do I think an anteater is good? When I was playing the weekly pack today, I would say... About 75% of the teams that I ran up against had Anteaters on them. Now, we did very well. At the same time, I think that's a good sign that someone somewhere has made a tier list that's like the Anteaters goaded, or maybe the Super Auto Pets Discord is going off. So, let's take advantage of that ill-gotten information for our own purposes. And you know what? I wouldn't mind even giving an Anteater a cucumber if we think that boy's sticking around. We may want to freeze, like, a strawberry or something. I'm not that into the donkey, because we're trying to pivot off of our, our build there. I almost feel like we can freeze... The, the foods right now don't impress me that much. We freeze a strawberry in the hopes that we get a second... Uh, well, a level 2 cassowary. Okay, you're just too strong. You're just stronger than me. I'll own that. 
Yes, I, I didn't want to officially own it until I was officially owned, but that's okay. You guys, this is a strong situation there with those birds. Maybe, maybe I was hasty to sell my bird. I would say, I mean, I could swap you, but that's expensive. That's three gold for a swap. That's a little much. I roll. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted to see. We absolutely would roll a lion. I think you sell your hummingbird, add a lion, and give it a strawberry for now. You don't need to be there, though. We could even put you like there. So you're going to become a 9-9. Nine, nine. Our cassowary scaling 2-2 two, two per turn. We got cucumbers on almost everything. Okay. It's the same squad. I'm going to cry. I've been shot and killed. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold the line. That's what you get. Validated. Vindicated. Sure. If we could get our castle where he's popping even more. But sure. Okay. Now, we good units. You know a good unit when you see one. We don't need another strawberry just yet. An eel? I don't see it. Something that buffs you would be would be the hotness. I'm rolling. I recognize we have not done much with this shop here. I think the platypus is like an extremely good pivot unit. I want to sell a seahorse. I want to sell our iguana. They're past the point of peak usefulness. Okay, that's a big koala. We're going down on this one. I would I would feel comfortable saying that. Holy cow, you guys have scaled these units like crazy. Am I dead? Please, no. Okay, we're on one. I can live with that. Now, and we probably should have done this earlier, but the time has come to sell. Sell. Buy. Sell. I definitely do want a fox out there, so let's freeze you. Sell. We can, I think we can put our fox position one. Now just keep in mind what foods we want. We want distributed foods like this. We can't roll two lions. I think in theory you could roll two anteaters if you had to. Or, for, uh, oh, oh, what the heck? You could roll a level two anteater and two foxes, which are both eating incredible foods. Maybe you should be, you know what, maybe you should be in position one. This team losing here would send me into a crisis of faith. <laughs> this is a, I feel like we've really, we've played our cards pretty well here. This is about how I expected some of our earlier rounds where we lost to go. Because I felt like we were doing a pretty darn good job. Our new victory condition holy cow man is scaling this lion as fast as we can you don't need three foxes but you might not need a level two but while we're here let's do it an ostrich i don't really care for it we want to keep this around for sure okay i think you do take a level two lion and it, it is a four squad but it's going to be such a good four squad. We can now move you to the front. And I don't want you to eat the broccoli. But if you give us the taco, holy cow, man. Please. Please. It ain't the taco. Now, uh, give the stats to my Lion 2022 challenge. Impossible. Because the stats are now going to be doubled, which is extremely good for us, of course. Okay. Obviously, their units get a lot of attack off of that. I'm, I'm a little scared. Perhaps justifiably. I'm, can I tell you something that I didn't realize until just now? It turns out the fox and the lion are the same tier. So by keeping the lion around, it's actually just an 812 that does nothing. Okay, that's good to know. I'm not very smart. If you're only an 812, though, you can get sold. Now, I do, th I feel like uh, Triceratops can scale with the best of them. It not getting any triggers right now is not ideal, but that's okay. Now, I recognize our cassowary also has no scaling. We got ourselves into a bit of a jam, okay? We're going to try to get out of it. Um, 
but it is a 2130 itself, which is okay. So first things, we're looking for good foods. It's a great food. Freeze it, move you back one. Buy, sell. It's two pairs for two gold. Not bad. Dude, this anteater's kind of popping. This cassowary's kind of popping. Is this the squad that I'm going to roll? Perhaps. Freeze me. We don't want a cucumber. We want distributed foods. That's perfect. There is a part of me right now that says, you know what? Just toss an orca out there, man. I don't know. I think the orca's kind of horrible, but... Okay, you ate the orange. I don't think our triceratops... I think I screwed myself up by going fox and lion, man. I don't think I'm ever coming back. Anteater. I don't see how we could possibly come out of this one. I don't see how we could possibly lose. Hold on. Somehow we're still living. <laughs> You're not doing that much. I'm just going to be honest with you. But a second fox and two of the best distributed foods. I'm keeping the anteater going. What am I looking for? We need something to scale. Is the triceratops good enough? I don't know, but there it is. Roll me. None of these appeal to me that much. Not that much. Not that much. I need something I can hang my hat on, okay? I don't see how we can stay in this much longer. That koala is mighty strong. Our cassowary is going to trade. It's going to get a two for one. Holy cow. We draw. Dude, I'm telling you, the foxes are single-handedly holding us into this game right now. Maybe there's a chance. I, I'm just... You've already soaked up some buffs. Let's keep it going. Now, obviously, you don't need any help. <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting any buffs anymore because I haven't given you any strawberries. And that's my fault, okay? Let's give out... We're giving out a lot more health. To be honest, we could really use attack more than anything else, but so be it. Roll me. Those are two good enough foods. Let's get two foxes that hit level two, hopefully. You buffed yourselves. I really want you to buff... If, if would it, Could it kill you to buff the Triceratops, the unit that has a hurt trigger? Would it kill you to buff the Triceratops, the unit that has a hurt trigger? Oh my god, your iguana, it's the strongest iguana that's ever existed. And yet we're winning. We won. Okay. This just shows you how good the, the fox is. It's the greatest animal that's ever existed. Yes, we, we love both of these. So just search for other animals. If we wanted to, we could actually sell the Triceratops, but I don't want to. End of turn. Give friend ahead 1-1 one, one and multiply it by the turn number. We could combine our foxes for that. I, I, I'm not willing to... I mean, I, now that I think about it, maybe I am willing to sell you, buy you, and then you would give 14-14 14, 14 to a cassowary doesn't really need it but you could give 14 14 to our level two fox okay we tried we tried to scale you nothing ventured nothing gained man uh you know i guess you could just buff your anteater if he's chilling around why not A another level two fox the scaling is about to go thermonuclear now we have a 3250 anteater I don't know if this is that good. <laughs> but here we are. Okay, the koala scaled like a son of a gun. And I gotta admit, it served them exactly, exactly right. And yet... Dude, the foxes. The fox. It, we made a mistake more colossal than can even be expressed. And yet, here we are. You know what you should do? Buy attack foods. You don't have to freeze them. Because we're not going to buy any other animals in all likelihood. We might as well just buy attack foods and then incept the perfect shop. That's the, that's the perfect shop. That's the perfect one. You did it. Now, let's keep these foxes moving here. Freeze the anteater as a just-in-case me. That was a beautiful hot dog moment there. Now, we're probably going to move the stegosaurus because it's giving 15-15 to a unit that's capped out on HP. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. We get to make fun of them, okay? Do you know why? It's because they're running a vulture build. 
That makes them the enemy in my mind. Now, am I running two foxes? Yes. <laughs> so maybe I don't have a leg to stand on. However, I'm feeling good. Now, you stay frozen. Maybe we'll look for a good food. I mean, green pepper is still like... There's some advisability there. You know what? You move to the front. You come here. You take the buff. Yeah. Good enough. Freeze it. Okay, sure. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fox is a 50-45 with the green pepper now. He's done it. I, I, I don't know if we're going to win, but I don't know how much better we could have done there. Uh, after I made the colossal error that put us in that position to begin with, the two foxes pulled us out of an incredible jam there. What a win, man. That feels That's 10 wins right? after we made a, an unbelievable slip up. And we were on lethal for like the whole game. So that feels amazing. You can lean on the fox. Let's not worry about the lion play too much. I respect it enough. I, I do like a strawberry. Um, this is horrendous, of course. Um, I'll just run this for the time being. But there is a catch. I don't want to buff any of these animals with the kiwi. So we'll keep it around for a bit. Let's be a hilly hedge. That felt great, man. I don't see a world where we win round one or two, just to be honest. I can't believe we got a draw. I recognize they're running guinea pigs, but still, that seems almost unfathomable to me. At least the seahorse has some HP that will swap with the rat for some reason. Let's make a cool rat. I don't want another frog, quite frankly. Um, I, I don't want it at all. I don't want to give anything a strawberry. I'd rather roll. I'd, I'd rather sell you. And then we'll level up a kiwi next turn to get the level. And then maybe put a strawberry on the unit it creates. And then maybe that'll kickstart an awesome unit for us or something. I don't know. This is a little weird, but you got to play the shops you're given. You can't just roll seahorse iguana every time. So, combine me. I think you being strong is kind of sweet. Because you can stick around for a bit. So, yeah, sure. Take a little buff. Get sold. Then we need to buy two animals. Um, if we want to run a full squad, at least. So, I would say... Just for now... I would run that. Mostly because all the other, other animals in the shop have been pure detritus so far. And yet we're not doing so badly. Uh, I didn't mean to buff the iguana. That was literally an accident. <laughs> My mistake. And yet, we lose. Okay, I thought we were going to draw. I think, we, you know, if our panda ends up buffing the, uh, the proper unit there, we might come out ahead. But it is what it is. So I would sell your mouse... Buff your toad. The toad can stick. That's that's the truth of the situation. You get another nice little buff. A bird feels like it hits the spot here. You're going to have one heck of a toad. And you know what? While we're here, why don't we buy some of these foods that are not that good? But there's a, a, a flip side to that. And the flip side to that is that none of the animals around here are that good either. In my opinion. So... Interesting. What do you got going here? I don't know. You got some strong units, that's for sure. Are they strong enough? Not quite. Big toad. Big toad. Really big toad. So, you gotta go. And then I definitely think we just buy one, two, three. I do think you... Maybe at this point, you sell your iguana... You're not going to love this, okay? But I, I believe in it. Roll your platypus for this turn. Because at least it is a 5-2. And then we'll sell the seahorse and sell the two animals that are generated. 
That was a really strong read from them there. You got me really good, just to be honest with you. We draw. I'm happy with the draw, quite frankly. But I think our team is actually kind of strong. It's just, it looks goofy. You sell the seahorse. You sell the platypus. You sell the duck when you see a good unit. Keep the strawberry around to enable your puffin right now. I would sell. I think we can buy a bird. I think I slept on the bird earlier. Thank you for not hitting both birds. That was a mistake. You can take a strawberry. If you get buffed by one or both of the birds, I don't cry about it. I say that I, I think I say to myself that's acceptable. Um, let's add one more puffin. And then, for now, I'm just going to give my toad a little bit more HP. We'll freeze this guy. Him, he could become like an interesting like lionfish type unit for us if he gets strong enough and can just hang out at the back. Okay, you're, you have, that's a very strong lizard. Our, our fish should not have been at the front because it did not get a chance to apply any weakness. That was a huge mistake. Or sorry, our toad, not our fish. <laughs> but level me up. We've gotten pretty good shop luck past the early game, honestly. I would say combine me and don't make the same mistake. Buy me, but don't sell me. That's a beautiful buff. You're better off at the back. Sure, you're going to get another level up. I'm, I'm okay with this. I genuinely, I look at my team right now and I say my team is good. I don't think we're in as much danger as it looks like we are. Now we are going up against the fox, so maybe I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I think, I think we lose to the faint. Never mind, we were not even close. I think I miscalculated drastically, and now it looks like I was sandbagging. I apologize. Now level me? Yeah, level me, then sell me. Sure. So there's a synergy here. If we can get our saber-toothed tiger to kill weak units, we'll be thrilled. It would also not be the worst thing if it soaked up a strawberry buff. Rather than have another useless 3-3 toad, a, a saber tooth that enables our puffin to be better and maybe soaks up the bird buff, I think it's higher utility. I'm not super confident in the squad that I got right now, though. It did get the buff, so we've created our own seahorse, which has then rendered you weak and allowed us to trade for the kill. I'm not saying I'm the best to ever do it, but I think that was maybe an astute read from yours truly. Now, we keep the bird for a bit. I don't think in this case you're really that excited about rolling a platypus then, unless you're selling something, and I don't think we're selling anything. So, let's buy this first. We're really looking for something that scales all strawberry friends. Stop it. <laughs> we're basically we're getting one gold for a duck. For the duck effect, which I don't respect. Two toads. So for now, I think you can place a second puffin. Freeze you. Obviously, a little too much of our shop is frozen now. I would absolutely take a fox. I don't. I, I think Kiwi's probably passed its best before date. I am starting to think it's going to be hard for us to kill. Oh, we killed their toad, though, which is insane. Hold on. Our squad is actually working. Like, this is actually getting the job done. We just need to keep it rolling, because this is not like an auto-fill situation. It's, just like, it's not that good. <laughs> you definitely want to add a fox. That's your big scaler. Let's buy one of these. Roll. I want distributed foods on the fox, please. I'm willing to roll to try to get it. There's a level 3 toad. If, he, if the fox eats a strawberry, that wouldn't be so bad. Sure. Straight up, we sell you to get the other fox out there. I would really rather you didn't eat this. Okay, if you eat the cucumber, it's one HP. I'd rather you eat the strawberry, though. Could you do that for me? Yeah, okay, whatever. It's not good, but considering the quality of foods available at this level, I'll live with it, okay? 
At least we shot their eel. That gives us maybe like a chance, although probably not a great one. Don't. Didn't crit me. Oh my god, I'm so smart! <laughs> it's working! And you all laughed at me. Now, you sell this. I know it's not going to be a, a, a beloved take, but you sell it because... Hold on, this could give us a tier 6. Not the tier 6 I'm looking for. We want a fox. We want two foxes, and we want distributed food. You know what? For the time being, let's meme it up. Let's take a full strawberry team so our puffin goes sicko mode. We don't really have the time to do that. We also got the cucumber bonus, which is, I, I think, maybe a bug, but I'll take it. We don't have the HP to get away with this. But if it works... Oh my god, you summoned your own Sabertooth? How did this happen? Because you killed my Sabertooth. You killed my Sabertooth? What's happening? I'm definitely dead. That I accept. Okay, let's... Our fox needs to start scaling our units. We've kind of... We, okay, that's what we're looking for. Good stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Not much to think about. Now we look for pairs of our existing animals. A puffin would hit the spot. You're actually, like, so good. I think I have to sell you and, and get the Stegosaurus maybe to buff our toad for the time being. And we're looking for animals we already have. A second Stegosaurus is mighty interesting. Eat. Feed. HP. I will say we're a little light on health. <laughs> Which is uh, the lifeblood of the game. That's a strong uh, guinea pig. I'll give that to you. Hold on, though. No. No, after everything we've been through. Still. The fact that we were doing so badly and then we got to get some wins out of that, I feel okay about that. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. All foxes all the time. See ya.